And as we head toward the weekend, it's likely many visitors to Virginia Beach will be staying in someone else's home, finding the property through a site like Airbnb. Mm -hmm. But as we've reported, the only thing short about short-term rentals right now is people's patience when talking how they should be regulated. New tonight, 10 on your side's Brett Hall is live at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront with another update on the plan from the city. Brett? Short patience indeed, and this latest plan further limits where new short-term rentals could operate. The whole goal of City Council is to try to balance the right for people to have a residential neighborhood with owner-occupated homes, as well as continuing to keep the tourism industry going with places for people to stay. People I spoke with say the balance is nowhere near met. It's become the issue's unofficial tagline. There's nothing short about short-term rentals. Virginia Beach City Council's public hearing on the issue earlier this month lasted nearly two and a half hours. Homeowners continue sharing stories of short-term rental neighbor nightmares, such as loud parties going late into the night. We live here for the sereneness, not because we want to live next to a hotel. Yet for realtor Paige Miarez, vacation rentals are her livelihood. And the new rules... It sets the stage for putting people like me out of business. Under the city council's proposal, up for a vote on Tuesday... Any person looking to rent their home or property using a site such as Airbnb must have their property in either Sandbridge or specific areas of the oceanfront or the north end. The line so specific that neighborhoods will become divided. There is absolutely an equity issue going on within the industry of, of who can and who can't. More so, owners would only be allowed to rent to one group a week. As a member of the newly formed Virginia Beach Property Rights Coalition, Miares is pushing back against all of it. I think we need to get some enforcement in place and give it a chance to work. From the public hearing, what I can definitively say is that whether you are pro-STR, which, which we are, or anti-STR, no one is for the current ordinance that's on the table right now. Miares says doing this right is the only way to keep tourism viable in the city, while also keeping it a community for a lifetime. And a lot of the places currently operating as short-term rentals would be grandfathered as long as they don't have any future violations. The vote, again, Tuesday at the meeting at 6 at the convention center. We're live at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.